People have voiced their frustrations with jobs telling them their natural hair looks unprofessional. Some have even lost their jobs because of these certain hairstyles. On Friday, the House passed the Crown Act. It bans against hair discrimination for styles like cornrows and afros. Now to your sides, Adriana Hargrove joins us in studio now. You spoke with two groups about the impact of this bill. Courtney and Ken, I spoke with the president of the Black Student Union at ECU and a counselor with Integrated Family Services. They both say this is not only a social issue, but very much a mental health issue. Mona Towns, a licensed clinical social worker with Integrated Family Services, says being discriminated for your hair or hair texture, especially in the workplace, can have a negative impact on a person's mental health. It can impact depression. It can impact um, anxiety related symptoms. And if this was a significant trauma as a child, this could have, you know, effects to where it has. It develops into, you know, a, a post traumatic stress disorder where it produces such intense anxiety as it relates to I have to have my hair straightened. Town says diversity and inclusion is a key component in workplaces to ensure their values, policies, and mission statement includes all groups of people, no matter what their hair looks like. She believes this bill is a step in the right direction in acceptance and tolerance towards those who choose to wear their hair differently. And even with hair, it is so important for young people to see that if they, we can be professional, we can be in professional settings and we can be well respected, you know, regardless of how we choose to wear our hair. Tyrell Govan, the president of the Black Student Union at ECU says, even though the bill was passed, there still is some work that needs to be done and that passing a bill will not stop discrimination completely just because it's written on paper. While this bill is passed, that's not to say that, you know, it still won't happen in some other form, like the discrimination still will happen in some other form. You know, it'll, people people that, you know, play into this discrimination, degrading, they, they find loopholes, they find other ways to, like, kind of, like, you know, target, you know, minority people. The Crown Act now awaits approval by the Senate. More than a dozen states have already passed similar versions of the bill. In studio, Adriana Hargrove, nine on your side. Adriana, thanks.